What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, welcome to the new player Nifty experience, or maybe we'll call it the Nifty new player experience, uh, based on the partnership between Splinterlands and Nifty Arcade. Now, I've been going back and forth with the folks at Nifty. I think that this is a really great partnership to help bring in new players. So hopefully, if you're watching this, it's because you're a new player coming to check out the game. And uh, this series of videos will be dedicated towards focusing on just that. So I have created a brand new account in the game. Uh, it is called After Sound Nifty is the, is the handle. And the goal with this, uh, as for me, I don't normally play at the bronze level, and I wanted to make sure that I understood the meta, understood what the new player experience is like. So I will actually be playing this account to see what exactly it is like for the new players to come in, document my experience, and hopefully help you along your path if you are new and just exploring the game. So uh, we'll start with the basics first and then get into it. If you are new, there's a platform called Nifty Arcade. You might have heard of it. You, that might be the reason that you're here in the first place, uh, where you can go in. I made an account super easy with them today, where you can go in and essentially just create something, link, you, you would link your, uh, your Hive account uh, and add the Splinterlands game. And then you come over here to the marketplace and you can see here that there's a bunch of nifty bronze decks now these are the decks that were delegated by the splinterlands team in order to help onboard new players so there are a ton of bronze decks which are awesome and i am i'm not going to rent one but i'm going to show you or borrow one but i'm going to show you exactly what uh that would look like so i can click here and we'll give this a second to load and you can see that it's the bronze cast legion 4321 i think that is the I think that must be the levels of all of the different rarities. So you can come down, you can see all of the cards that are in here. They have all of the uh, all of the rare and well, they don't they don't have the newest Dragon Legendary Summoner, but I wonder if that'll get added in at some point in the future. Uh, but you can see these are all the cards that are available. You come down collection. I would hit uh, the the username here. Click on all these good things here. I will not touch my gameplay rewards. I will not attempt to have my rentals. Um, all this, and then and then you would uh, you would actually click through. Now, one thing that I do want to make clear, um, and uh, you will run into this when you create a new account. So, for example, uh, well, actually, we'll just go to pretend to make a new account here. You can click Splinterlands. You put your Hive address in, and then you can show here. Uh, the delegation authority. So if you are new to the Splinterlands game or new to Hive in general, you get these keys, uh, five different keys, I believe, you know, your active key, owner key, posting key, and you want to you want to safeguard those. That is, you know, 100% like the, the keys to like a Bitcoin wallet or any other crypto crypto wallet. So you what you can do uh, is you can use the Hive keychain, which I'm not going to get into here. But if you have the Hive keychain, uh, you'll be able to, to link it through there. And you have to give delegation authority to the uh, to to Nifty Arcade. Now, if it's just posting, um, the posting is a little bit safer in the sense that uh, they can't do anything with your account outside of giving them authority to lend cards. But if you're here, you're probably not interested in lending cards. If you're a new player, you want to borrow cards, so you will actually have to do the active key. And they have some very important things that you should know. Uh, please be aware that granting the active authority uh, means that Nifty Arcade will be able to perform any transaction, which could be transferring cards, transferring packs, selling cards, burning cards, transferring uh, DEC or any of the in-game tokens. So again, that is a risk technically. So what their suggestion is, is that you they recommend you remove all other assets from the account, essentially making it empty. So what this is going to do then is essentially ensure that there's no risk for you if there's nothing in the account that can be taken out, sold, or burned. Um, and this is just this just becomes a way for you to start playing the account or playing the game, seeing what it's like, seeing how it goes, and uh, hopefully start to build up from there. And then in the future, if you decide to uh, you know, stop borrowing from Nifty and maybe start renting or buying your own cards, then you could go in and actually reset your keys. But we're going to save that for another point in time. The, the point with this and why I think it's so uh, it's, it's just such a great platform, a great idea, is because you can come in and essentially start playing for free. I, I created this account today. Granted, you know, you have to get the spell book, which is 10 bucks, or you might be able to get a code from Nifty or from uh, from the team or, you know, through through some giveaways. And so you, if you come in, you're able to do that and essentially get started up, 
get a deck delegated to you. Like I said, you know, the bronze league is, is the lowest one there. And just start playing. Start playing and actually start earning, seeing what the game is like. But, uh, you know, for the future, and maybe we'll cover this when we get to that point because I'm, I'm going to document my experience over the next, uh, well, we'll say 30, maybe 30 plus days. Um, that That is where, you know, we'll, we'll cover the hive keys and all that. But for now, I don't have anything in the account. We're going to go back to Splinter Lens here. And uh, you can see that uh, I did transfer some DEC in. Now, the reason for this is because I didn't want to take away one of the decks that was set aside for new players. Um, so those decks are still there. And what I essentially did for people who might be interested is I, I came through, I used the Peak Monsters deck rental feature, the My Decks feature, and I actually came through and rented the entire Chaos Legion uh, maxed for bronze deck, right? So there's no reward cards, no Rift Watchers, no other old cards. It is just Chaos Legion. So this is uh, essentially what you would get if you were to get a deck delegated to you from Nifty. And you can see here that I rented the entire thing for 117 DEC per day. It's not too bad, I would say. Now, granted, there is the new season rental feature, which actually just went live today, but I wasn't able to take advantage of that. I did set these all for, uh, you know, 15 days so that it would last the entire season, but they are still daily rentals. You can see that designated by the purple D here. And so, you know, they could get, they could potentially get canceled. But what I love about the, the deck feature here from Peak Monsters, so shout out to Jarvie and the Peak Monsters team as well, is that I can always come in and let's see, here's the Chaos Legion Bronze. I can always come in and see which cards I don't have. So if you go down to, uh, you know, this playable right here, if it's in green, that means it's not a starter card and I actually have the card. So actually there is one card here. Looks like there's a Stitch Leech. So let me go ahead and grab that one. And... We'll add it to the cart, and I'm going to go ahead and up that. There you go, 15 days. I mean, this thing is 0.1 DEC for a, well, I guess it's level three. Yeah, so level three. So, you know, not, not too terrible. Hopefully, we do get it, and uh, then we'll be good to go. So now let me go back here, and I'm going to be doing, I, I don't know if it's going to be daily videos. I don't know if it's going to be every couple of days or if it'll be weekly, but obviously the goal is to document my experience and see just how far you can get. So... I will be playing every game on here. Uh, there is no botting allowed on the Nifty Arcade platform, which I think is fantastic. So, you know, they're, they're, they're going to stay on top of that to make sure that you are not using any kind of botting, uh, any kind of bots on there. For me, like I said, part of it is also the appeal of trying to play in Novice and now Bronze. So to wrap up the video, <laughs> I'm just going to show you how I made it through Novice. Now, I started with a rating of zero for every win in Bronze I got it was 10 points, and with the new new player experience, essentially, for Bronze, uh, sorry, for Novice, you have to win 10 games, right? 10 points each to get to that rating of 100. Whenever you lose, you don't go down, and in the future, they're going to set it up so that once you're in Bronze, you actually can't ever go back to, to down there, so you'll just be facing some of the, you know, bots uh, t t bots that the team will set up, so just kind of like a PvE environment for you to get your, your feet under you. So you can see here very clearly that I spammed my way with the earth element uh, and, and obsidian all the way through. Um, I think I lost, I played a total of 12 games. I lost two of them. And you can see after I lost the first one with Kelia, who is, who is generally a very good summoner, uh, but, in Bron but in Novice just didn't, wasn't doing it. I just stuck with the, uh, I just stuck with Obsidian and Immortalis all the way through and was able to make my way into Bronze. So I'm not going to share any battles, but just trying to give you a strategy in case you're, you, you want to figure out what is the easiest way to get through Bronze. So now I am at a point where I can actually start earning. I can start playing battles and I can start going towards, uh, you know, earning my daily reward chest as well as as my seasonal reward chest. And that will be the point of this series as we go along. I wanna see just how much I can earn, just how high I can get. Um, you know, obviously playing in bronze will be great, but if I can even make it up to silver, stretch this deck a little bit, obviously this deck is optimized and maximized for bronze only. But if I can start playing in silver, I can start earning higher rewards and then we'll see what happens after 30 days. I wanna give this a full two uh, two seasons, right? And seasons are roughly 15 days. So a full month here and uh, and see what the experience is like for new players and hopefully give a template on how to navigate. And then actually, once we get to the end of 30 days, we can figure out what we wanna do with the account, which will serve as a further template for players who come into the Nifty platform, get a deck delegated to them for a month, and then 
decide how they want to interact with the game moving forward. Maybe sell some rewards, maybe put more a little more uh, capital into the game to buy some cards that they need. Whatever the case is, you know, I, I think it's going to be good. So um, hopefully this will be something that you guys enjoy. I plan on playing in modern. And um, yeah, that's that's all I really have for now. The last thing that I will say, since this is a little bit of an intro video, is that there is your ECR, your capture rate or energy capture rate, that if you highlight the, uh, the splinter shards, a uh, little icon here, um, this is going to get changed dramatically, so I don't want to spend too much time on it, but you can see here that I am at 91%. So I played a bunch, and right now, whenever you play a battle, win or lose, you use 1% of your capture rate. Now, this is not an absolute 1%, it is a relative 1%. So uh, if I were to play a game right now, I wouldn't just go from 91.64% down to 90.64%. I would, I would go down by point, <laughs> point, uh, oh, nine, six, oh, nine, one, six, four, right? So it would essentially take 1% of wherever I'm at. Now, this is a very complicated system. If you're a new player coming in, I wouldn't worry about it too much because this is about to be overhauled, hopefully within the next month or so. Uh, and it'll make it much easier. There'll be a new energy system. But uh, in case you're wondering what that is, it does limit your rewards that you don't just play endlessly. Uh, because if I continue to play, and let's say I get all the way down to 50% or even 25%, I might be winning battles, but the amount of reward shares and the amount of SPS that I'm winning would be capped at only 25% of the maximum rewards that I would normally receive. So you want to play anywhere between, I don't know, 30 to 40 battles, or eh, well, we'll just say like on average, like 30 battles per day, that gets you down. And then your ECR, your capture rate does recover at a rate of 25% per day, or maybe, you know, a little more than 1% per hour. So um, obviously that's going to change. It's going to get overhauled, but for anybody who might be curious, that is what it is. So this is hopefully, I hope this was a good or at least a decent intro video for you coming in. Uh, as I said, I will be playing this. I won't be showing all the battles or I won't be streaming it, but I will be going through and trying to maximize as much as I can. Looks like I have, well, I don't know, maybe another 10 or 15 battles that I can do today and start earning in bronze. And, um, you know, maybe I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe not again. I, I don't know what I can commit to right now, but this will be an ongoing series. And so, um, you know, check out, check out Nifty Arcade, check out Peak Monsters. I will put links to both of those in the description below. And um, yeah, best of luck and welcome to the game if you are a new player. If you're not and you're watching this and are a part of the channel, thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.